Joel asks, can you make a video on how to create your own GIFs on the Galaxy Note 9? Yes, yes I can. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy Note 9, the S9 Plus, and the S9. They can all create GIFs, but this very first feature is available only on the Galaxy Note 9, and that is done by using the S Pen. So if I hover over the screen, press the button, it's going to pop open the little air command here, and we are going to go into the live message option. So live message allows you to write your own message and it will send it as a GIF. We have a few options down here. We can change the background color if we want to. So personalize by whatever you would like. Here we can choose your own picture from your gallery if you want. And then over here you do have your AR emoji that you can choose and you can write on that. So if we're gonna go back to the standard color here, and then up here you can choose and specify which kind of brush you want, the size of the brush, and the color of the brush. And then here you would just write your message or whatever GIF you want to send. So I'm just gonna write down a little message for you guys. Okay, now that I have that, I can click play to see what the GIF is going to look like. And then here I have the option to format. So I can send it as a GIF high quality, normal quality, and then I could also send it as a video. So we're going to select high quality, select done, and then it is going to save it and you can send it off. So depending on the quality, it will determine on if you can text it to somebody or you would need to use a third party messaging app to do that. And then here I have the share option where I can share it with any of my applications or upload it to a certain driver or whatever. So that is how you can create a personalized message GIF with the Galaxy Note 9. Now the next one, there's two different ways in which you can get to this GIF creation. And again, this will work on all of the phones. With the S Pen, you can go into the Air Command again. And then here we can go into the Smart Select tool. And with Smart Select, you have this option up here at the top called GIF Animation. Now if you have one of the other phones like the S9 or the S9 Plus, you can actually open up the Edge panel and go to the Smart Select option, and right here, you can choose the GIF animation. So first, let's go into a little video that we want to create a GIF of. So we're gonna go into YouTube. Now, I do wanna mention that the first time you open up the GIF creator, it will mention that you should only create GIFs of content you own, and get permission from the person that owns the content. So make sure you all follow those rules. So here I am in my video that I want to create a GIF of. So I'm going to open this up again, select Smart Select, and then choose the GIF animation option. And I'm going to line it up to the part of the video that I want it to record. And then just before I hit play, here we have the record. And then here we can choose the quality. So I can do high quality versus standard quality. And then I'm going to select play on YouTube. And it's going to play the video in the background. And since there's no sound on GIFs, I'm actually gonna turn down my volume right here. And then when the video gets to a part that I want to record as a GIF, I just need to select record, and then it will start recording that part of the video. And here, this option allows you to do it for 15 seconds, and then it tells you how much meg it's actually going to use at that time. So here it has created the GIF, and I can keep watching it over and over. Down here at the bottom, you do get a few options. So I can draw on the GIF, I can share it or save it. So if I draw, I can write a message. I have my pen option up here where I could choose what pen I want and the color. So you can kind of meme the GIF. It's not the best because it's not typed out, but then I could just um, write something on here. You know, no Thanos. And then uh, I would hit save. And then it's going to save it into my gallery just like that. So now we can go back into the gallery, go into the GIFs folder, and there I can see my GIF and I could share it with others. Now let me show you that without using the S Pen. So if you're using the S9 or the S9 Plus, this is how you could do it. You just need to go into the edge panel. So you swipe over from the side. You may need to go in, into the display settings and turn on the edge panel if you don't have it on. And then here you can go under GIF. So this is great because you can use any application. You don't have to use a video. So right here I have my little Androidify character. Um, let's save him real quick and then I can choose one of these little animations. Say I'm laughing. 
And then here I just need to swipe over from the side, go to GIF animation, and then I can choose exactly what I want to have saved. So there, if I change anything on the screen, you can still interact with the screen in the background. But then whenever you select record, it will just record what is inside that box. So let's move it up a tiny bit more, move it down, high quality, select record. And then you could have it record as long as you want. You can't trim it when you're done. So you may just need to stop it um, at the right time and then you can get it so it looks like it's looping over and over again. So here's a quick difference between the high quality and the standard quality. In some situations like texting this to somebody, you may need to choose the low quality option so it can send it. You're definitely gonna have a better experience when using high quality in the way that it looks, but both options are there just depending on the scenario. So now let's say we have a video already in our gallery that we want to create a GIF of. So here I'm going to go back into the gallery. I'm going to find the video I would like to use. So here I have this little video, and then I'm going to select play. Now when you click play, tap on the screen, down here at the bottom you have a GIF option. So I can then select GIF, and here is that disclaimer about creating your own GIF animations and not to use copyright content, so we're going to confirm. Here it allows me to swipe forward and back to find the exact spot that I may want the GIF to start. And then down here are all the controls that we have. So if we want to start the GIF at a certain part, I can scrub this and you can see exactly where it's gonna start. So let's start right before she falls down. And then we can end the GIF. We can choose where that ends. And that's when it would repeat. So let's end it right a little less. Okay, good, I like there. Down here we do have a speed option, so I can go one times speed, I can go two times speed, I can go half speed, and back to one times speed. And then over here we have the option to change the direction. So let's say I want it to go backwards. So then it would just keep going backward. And then here I can go back and forward. So she would go up and down the slide, and then it goes back again to forward. So let's do back and forward, and then we're going to do two times speed. So she can go up and down the slide really fast. Let's go back to just the forward. That's pretty funny and you could also lengthen it a little bit if you want it to not start and end so abruptly. I like how that looks. So at the top here, I'm going to select save. You could use the share option as well. So with that way, there was no way to actually write on the screen. You just have the option to cut it as a GIF file. Now the next way to create a GIF is actually within the camera application. So this isn't creating a GIF of a video you have, but it's actually using the AR emoji to create GIFs that you could send of different emoticons essentially. So here I can go in and create my AR emoji. If you haven't done this before, I'll show you how to do it. Just take a picture of yourself. It will then ask you what style of clothes and hair you want. So boy or girl, I'm gonna select the boy. Then you can go through, customize that. We're just going to select save. And then at this point, you get an option to save my emoji stickers in the gallery. So if you select this, you'll actually save all the different stickers that it creates as a GIF file that you could send to any other phone that accepts GIFs. That will work to iPhones and other Android devices as well. So if we go back into the gallery, over here we have the option of our emojis, so my emojis. So here are all the different items that it created and they are GIFs that will continually play over and over. I think it created like 50 of them or something. So here's the one that I just created. So it shows a lot of those. And then here's one that I previously created. So if you wanted to create new one of these with a new character, you just need to go through and create a new AR emoji or go and edit your previous one. Now the last way to create a GIF on your Samsung mobile device is to take a bunch of pictures and put them together to create a GIF animation. So here I've used the color pop setting in the pro editor. If you want me to show you a video on how you can create little pictures like this, I can do that. But here I have a Tesla and I've gone through and shown you a bunch of other Tesla colors you can use. So let's create a GIF of these. So all I'm going to do is highlight and select all of those pictures. And then I'm going to select the menu up here and I'm going to go down into create GIF. 
Now you can do this with any sorts of pictures in the gallery, put a bunch of different pictures together. So down here in the bottom, we have the option where we could actually organize or rearrange. So here, if I wanted to change the order in which these are, I could do that right there. I could add more pictures as well as delete. Here I can change the crop of the GIF. So right now, maybe I want it to be a little more square. So I can choose that and move this around so then it's focused right on the car. I could choose four by three, three by four, 16 by nine, or nine by 16. So whatever you would like, let's do the one by one. Down here I have the GIF options. So this is the speed. So here I can make it go really fast or I could slow it all the way down. So then it slowly will go through the pictures. So the more pictures you have, the longer the GIF animation is going to be. So let's keep it right. That's a little too fast. Let's keep it down here. So it quickly goes through those colors. Again, down here, we have the option to go forward, backward, or forward and backward with these colors. Doesn't really make a difference, but that is how you can do it. And then over here on the side, we have the option to actually draw, add stickers, or create text on top of the GIF. So if I were to draw, um, you know, we would just say Tesla, select done. We could move that object around. Here I could add a sticker. And then here I have like my little AR emoji guy I can put on there. So now it has placed those and you still see the GIF animation. So I'm going to apply that to the screen and then we have the text option. So I can change the style of the text here. And then we can move that around. So there I can add a little bit of a meme, even though the GIF here is not moving, you can definitely personalize it a little bit more than with the other GIF animators that are on the phone. So then once that's done, I would select save and then it has saved it into my gallery. So now that we have all of those created, let's go and check them out over here in the GIF folder and live message folder. So you can see all my other live messages I've done. There you can see the first one that I made. Please subscribe, hit the like button, that'd be awesome. Over here we have the full GIFs. So here I have my, should I get a Tesla? And what color would you pick if you could pick one of these colors? And then over here we have the fun going down the slide. And here we have a video with the little text written on top of the screen. And that is all the ways you can create a GIF on your Samsung device right out of the box without downloading any third party applications. If you have any further questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to learn more about what these Samsung phones can do, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. I'll see you guys over there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.